Yes, them of the heart of a pagan Lynch! The children of the heart of a lion I know He will a move with Satan Righteous trod in the countenance of the Almighty Sir. One Sir. Sir. Them of the heart of demons Sir. The children of the heart of a lion I know He will a move with Satan Righteous walk in the countenance of the Almighty One Sir. Both people see hostility rising daily Shalom, this is Officer Carla Baraya with the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commandant General Yahana. And today, we're going to go more into why Israel is filling themselves with abomination, such as the swine, such as the crab, the shrimp, and the lobster. And the history on it and the origin of where it actually comes from. Now, when we do that, we're going to go to Leviticus chapter 11, verse 1. We're going to start there. Come, come. Go ahead and read that for me, brother. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 1. Go ahead. And the Most High spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Okay, so right there, the Most High running it down to Moses, and Moses running it down to Aaron, and Aaron running it down to the children of Israel in rank order, what the Lord allows us to eat and what he doesn't allow us to eat of the beasts of the field. Now go to verse 7. We're going to get straight into it. Verse 7. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine... And the what? The swine. Go ahead. Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cub. Listen. He you can eat beasts with the cloven foot that cheweth the cub. The cub is the grass. Matter of fact, skip up to verse 3 so we can get further edification on that and read that real quick. I'm going to come. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 3. Whatsoever part of the hoof. And it's cloven footed. Whatsoever part of the hoof and it's cloven footed, meaning such as like the cow or the ox or the deer, they have a cloven foot. You understand what I'm saying? The, the hoof is split right down the middle. Go ahead. And chew of the cud. And chew of the cud, which is the cud is the grass. Now go back to verse 7. Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. Now the swine, which is the pig, he has a divided hoof. His foot is cloven. Go ahead. And be cloven footed. Yet he cheweth not the cud. Yet the pig doesn't chew the cud. The swine doesn't chew the cud. The swine is a natural, living, breathing, garbage disposal. It'll eat dead carcasses, anything. You understand what I'm saying? That's its natural use. Read on. Is there any more on that? Come, come. Go ahead. He is unclean to you. He is what? Unclean to you. The Lord is saying that the swine is unclean to us, man. Why are they not bringing this out in the Christian church? Why is the Christian church, they, they holidays and they feast days filled with pork all over their tables? Just a, a magnitude of pork and vile disgusting abomination all over the spread in the Christian church during their feast days, man. Give me Amos chapter 5 verse 21. The Christian church doesn't teach the truth. The Christian church doesn't have the spirit of the Lord on them. The only, the only school that is set up with the spirit of the most high and that teaches the truth is the Israelite school of UPK under command of General Yohanan. Pork is an abomination. The swine is an abomination. You got that for me, bro? Amos chapter 5. Verse 21. Amos chapter 5 verse 21 Go ahead I hate, I despise your feast days You hear what the Lord said? The Lord said that he hates and despises our feast days Why is he saying that? Because the Christian church Keeps the feast days of the white man for one They keep Christmas They keep Thanksgiving They keep the 4th of July They keep Independence Day You understand? And when they feast on those holy days Their feasts are filled with abominations Filled with swine, filled with pork, 
filled with shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. And I'm gonna tell you why. Black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man, why we eat pork like we do. The reason that we eat the swine is because we were owned by the white man. We are the slaves of the white man. You understand what I'm saying? A man by the name of Kevin Jackson wrote an article called The Slave Mentality on June 15, 2010. You understand what I'm saying? Saying that the slave's family would be so desperate for hunger that they would eat the entrails of whatever the master ate. Now, what was those entrails? When the slave master slaughtered a pig, he would take the pork chops, the pork steaks, you understand what I'm saying? And he would give us the entrails. What's those entrails? Pig feet, chitterlings, pig ears. You understand what I'm saying? Which is the pork rinds, man, that we eat, that they sell us in every corner store. You understand what I'm saying? We are the slaves of a master who eats pork. We want slaves of the Chinese, so we don't eat embryo soup. We don't eat dead babies. You understand? We don't eat rats and cats. You understand what I'm saying? We were the slaves of the white man, and the white man fed us the pork that he didn't want. The entrails, man. Is there any more on that? Come, come. Go ahead. I hate, I despise your feast days. Go ahead. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. He said he would not smell in our solemn assemblies, man. We praying over the food during these feast days that are abominable to the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? And we praying over things that are abominable, man. Meaning disgusting. Praying over pork. Asking the Lord to bless pork when he said the swine is an abomination, man. Now, drop that. Go back to Leviticus. Go back to Leviticus. We're going to go to Leviticus chapter 11, verse, verse, verse 9. We're going to start there. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 9. Going more into why we shouldn't eat pork. Why we shouldn't eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. And any other thing that the Lord says in his abomination. Read on. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 9. Go ahead. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Now, the Lord breaking it down to Moses. Moses giving it to earn, earn it, taking it to the people, taking it to Israel, the blacks and Hispanics, man, about what we should eat in the waters. Go ahead. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Whatsoever have what? Fins and scales. What? Fins and scales. Go ahead. In the waters. Go ahead. In the seas and in the rivers. Them shall ye eat. Okay, so the Lord just broke it down. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the seas, in the rivers, in the waters, that's what we should eat, man. Now skip, go down to verse 10. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, Go ahead. they shall be an abomination. They shall be what? An abomination. Go ahead. Unto you. Listen, man. What doesn't have fins and scales shall be abomination to us, man. What doesn't have fins and scales? Lobster doesn't have fins and scales. Crab doesn't have fins and scales. Shrimp doesn't have fins and scales. Yet we feast on these things, man, and think it's good living. You understand what I'm saying? We are slaves in America, man. And to bring something out, man, the early, the early European settlers to New England would come over here. They didn't eat lobsters because lobsters were so vast. You understand what I'm saying? You could find them on the shores. They were so vast, so they didn't eat lobsters. They used the lobsters to fertilize the land and to feed the lowest creatures. You understand what I'm saying? You could go research this. They feed the lobsters to the lowest creatures in their society. And I guess you can figure out what's the lowest creatures. The slaves, the indentured servants, and the poor. Who's poor in America? Who are the slaves in America? Who are the indentured servants in America? It's a car and the other nine half tribes building up this whole forgotten stinking kingdom, man. Cement and brick, man. We the indentured servants. We are the slaves, man, that they feed the lobster to. You understand what I'm saying? The early settlers in New England. They didn't eat those things, man. Back then, eating meat was a sign of wealth. You understand what I'm saying? If you do your research, a cheeseburger was more expensive than even uh, lobster. Now we're going out for lobster dinners. 
why they call it delicacies now, delicacies now is because they are so scarce, man. They so scarce. We eating the natural filters of the ocean. Understand what I'm saying? When you have a filter and it filters your water, when you take the, the filter out of the bottle and lick all on the filter, that's what we do when we eat the crab, man. The crab eat the entrails of all the fish that's in the sea, man. It natural, the natural things in the ocean that clean the ocean floor. The shrimp clean the ocean floor. The lobster clean the ocean floor. And we filling our bodies with it, man. You understand what I'm saying? This is dishonorable, man. Give me Isaiah chapter 65 verse 2. Real quick, man. We got to have to come back to the Lord, Israel. The Lord said, you disobey the least commandment. You are guilty of all. We are not supposed, we are not supposed to eat crab, shrimp, or lobster, man. Anything that doesn't have fins or scales in the waters. We're not supposed to eat anything that isn't cloven footed. That chew the cut. We ain't supposed to be eating no raccoon. Down south of Louisiana, they eating raccoon, crocodile, alligator. We sinning against the Lord, man. You got it? Come, come. Read that for me. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 2. Go ahead. I have spread out my hands all day unto a rebellious people. You hear what the Lord said? The Lord said he spread out his hands unto a rebellious people, man. Meaning he's lent his generosity, man. And his comfort, man. And his friendship. And his loyalty. You understand what I'm saying? To a people that is what? A rebellious people. A what? Rebellious people. We are a rebellious people, man. We are a rebellious people, man. Meaning hard-headed, man. Thousand years ago in the Bible, we was eating pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster when the Lord gave the gave the law to Moses. And yet we rebelled against the Lord. And today in 2013, in our captivity in America, we have rebelled against the Lord. We keep eating crab, shrimp, and lobster. And we the highest in diabetes. The highest in high blood pressure. I wonder why. Read on. Which walketh in a way that was not good. That walketh in a way that was not good. Instead, we walk in the ways that the white man says to go. The white man says shrimp is a delicacy. We say, well, all right, shrimp is a delicacy. He say that pork, that swine is the other white meat. We say, well, pork is the other white meat. When the Lord set the path, what is the path? These laws hit that we're supposed to live our life by. That says pork is, a, is an abomination. The swine is an abomination unto Israel, unto blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians, man. That we only supposed to eat the things of the sea that have fins and scales, man. But we want to walk in the path for the white man. Read on. After their own thoughts. After what? Their own thoughts. After their own thoughts. What we think is right. Ain't nothing wrong with a little shrimp. Shrimp tastes good. A little cocktail sauce. Ham. Ain't nothing like some early ham in the morning. Some ham bacon. The Lord said that our heart, that your heart is deceivable above all things. Meaning that it'll lie to you, man. We taking pleasure in these abominations, not knowing that it's a sin against the Lord and that the Lord is killing us for it. Read on, is that it? Oh, verse 3, that's it. Okay, skip me down and go to verse 4. Come, come. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 4. Go ahead. Which remain among the graves. Which remain among the graves, man. We dying in America, man. Like I said, high blood pressure. Highs in diabetes. Because of the things we eat, man. The Lord said that in Deuteronomy 28, that pestilence shall cleave to us, man. Pestilence is disease. That's why we filling up the graves in America. Read on. And lodge in the monuments. Go ahead. Which eat swine's flesh. Which lodge in the what? Monuments. Go ahead. Which eat swine's flesh. Now what are those monuments? Those monuments are your Christian churches, man. Christian churches on every corner, on every block, in every ghetto in America, man. Feasting on swine's flesh. Feasting on abominable things, man. Saying that it's good. Saying that God's going to bless this meal, man. The Christian church is a lie, man. The Christian church does not teach the Bible, man. Read on. And brought abominable things in their vessels. And brought of abominable things in their vessels, man. We consuming it, consuming abominable things, man. Not to mention the pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. 
But we consuming more abominable things in our vessels, man. Give me Romans. Give me Romans 9 and 21, man. Come, come. The Lord says, we going to get it for you. You understand what I'm saying? But we consuming abominable things. Eating this pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. Something that's disgusting. Something that'll eat a dead dog. We eating that. Following after the white man. Because we were slaves to the white man. For 400 years. He fed us the entrails. The scraps. Fed us like dogs, man. You know what I mean? Read on, huh? Come, come. Romans chapter 9, verse 21. Go ahead. Have not the part. Yes, they might be out of a pagan. The children of the art of a lion, I know. Evil and move with Satan. Righteous trod in the countenance of the Almighty One. They might be out of demons. The children of the art of a lion, I know. Evil and move with Satan. Righteous walk in the countenance of the Almighty One Poor people see hostility rising daily Ignorant multiply brutality We I see that they run gone left mommy We struggle the hard road with five beginning Our I see baby having baby Nothing that happen no do